G'day folks. Well, it's time for autopsy part five, I think we're up to, maybe six. Uh, the rest of the block. And I'm also rolling in a bit of a test here as well, using the uh, one of the big SCRs, silicon controlled rectifiers that I have. I've got six of these big bastards. Uh, these are AEI branded 1000 volt 480 amp silicon controlled rectifiers and yes they do work quite well so yeah I've got it hooked up uh, battery positive goes to starter negative goes through load oh sorry SCR goes through negative via load and I'm just using 100 ohms to uh, trigger my rather expensive starting solenoid there we go Unfortunately, it's not an IGBT. I can't just tell it to shut down without actually breaking the main current flow. But of course, if I try and put it on, nothing happens. That's because I've got to fill in the gaps in the silicon here and get my little electron friends to follow. And once those little electron friends start flow following, they reach the starter motor and start a magnetic field. Yeah, SCRs are fun. Lots of fun, especially when you hook couple them with a capacitor bank and a rail gun. No, I'm not building a rail gun, but if I had the machine tools to make precision copper rails and all the plastic insulators and things, a mylar insulation, maybe, but yeah, very expensive just for a couple of shots. Then you burn your rails out, and that's pretty much the end of it. <laughs> Happy. Starter motor doesn't really care. It's not under any load. Lukewarm. <laughs> but yeah, this engine's pretty sludged up. I guess it's time to uh, stop playing around and start stripping it down because I want to get this thing out of here tonight. At least maybe tomorrow morning. At least that way I can clear this out, clear out the RAV4, fix that waterlogged headlight and then uh, get ready to drive it to the uh, proper auto shop tomorrow and get the clutch done on it. I'm sorry, not tomorrow, on Wednesday. Clean it out tonight or tomorrow, then drive it to the clutch shop on uh, Wednesday and have all that done including the rear main crankshaft seal while the flywheel's off getting machined. Um, and whatever else they can find along the way. So yeah, might even get the CV boots replaced and everything repacked professionally. Might get the drive shafts recode. Uh, yeah, do it properly. I don't mind spending a bit of money, especially with a good local mechanic. Like this guy is actually good, and uh, he gets the jobs that most mechanics either just look at you funny and start dribbling about, or um, just don't want to do. He specialises in tricky stuff like complete clutch jobs, complete engine out jobs, that sort of thing. He's not one of the half-assed hacks. So yeah, it's good to find a local mechanic who can do that. Unfortunately I can't drive her up to Brad's place and then get him to do it, but I'll find a closer Brad equivalent, or at least partially a Brad equivalent. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, let's see what else this thing can do.